okay students so uh, let us start today's lecture okay so actually i was in a meeting so that is why you have to start uh, a little bit late so today uh, i will be discussing about the electrostatic field okay so electrostatic field uh, this portion you have a little bit idea okay because i have skipped one part which is the gauss law uh, actually the uh, is coulomb's law i think all of you know what is coulomb's law when there are two charges in a particular field or a plane so the uh, force between the two charges either the force of attraction or repulsion is represented by coulomb's law okay so that is known to you so i am directly going into that particular portion where uh okay on this hmm. so uh just to uh, you know uh, skip uh, so that we can complete this part because i think you won't get too much time for the completion of syllabus okay so the portions where we have to focus more okay so we will concentrate on that so see uh, in a particular electrostatic field we generally if you in your school levels you have studied that uh, we uh, deal with point charges okay suppose a uh, charge is there plus q okay or minus q so it is called a point charge but generally in always you will not see point charge so you will see other variations also like line charge line charge means a straight line like a conductor where you have multi you have uh, means a uh, enormous number of charges in you so you cannot count it okay you cannot count the total charge so what you do suppose you have a, a 100 meter length wire and you have you cannot count the number of charges because you don't know how many electrons are there but what is given it is given that per unit millimeter so 1 millimeter length this amount of charge is there okay that is given so that means whatever length you have you multiply with it so the amount of charge provided in 1 millimeter length or 1 meter length is called the charge density okay so in a conductor the charge density means it is the line charge density that means if a conductor is there of length l we don't know the, what is the total amount of charge in that conductor but it is given that the line charge density is rho l suppose uh, 10 coulomb per meter that means the line is having continuously 10 coulomb per meter charge in it so if you have 100 meter so you just multiply with 100 then then it will be 10 1000 1000 coulomb okay so that is why in the cases where you don't have the point uh, you don't have the uh, total charge on a surf, uh, on a particular line then the point uh, sorry the line charge density is given similarly if you have a surface that means you have a two dimensional conductor and on the surface you have a uh, total surface is, is uh, having charges okay so here also the charge is distributed evenly we consider and the charge a surface charge density is given that is represented as rho s and the unit is coulomb per meter square similarly if you have a volume where charges are present so we call it a volume charge so this is surface charge this is volume charge so in volume also the per unit volume charge is given that is called the volume charge density rho v that is given in coulomb per meter cube okay now the total amount of charge obviously uh that means that particular length okay so suppose you have a 1 meter uh, length okay or suppose you have a uh, 100 meter length okay uh, and the total length is suppose capital l now only one simple portion is given this portion is given that this length is having 1 meter okay and the charge is suppose uh, dq okay that means dq divided by 1 meter is the line charge density okay now suppose uh you want to know that uh if the what is the amount of charge okay in say 5 meter length so 5 meter length will be suppose that amount of charge will be you don't know so suppose dq1 that is rho l into 5 and total charge will be Of hundred, so for hundred meter total length, that will be dQ into rho L into L capital L that is hundred, or you can write in this way. Sorry, uh, dQ not, it is Q. 
so q is nothing but the integration of dq okay that is integration of rho l rho l dl as if that dq by dl is rho l because it is line charge density small amount of charge divided by length that is rho rho l okay suppose you don't know this length suppose this length is 5 meter suppose 5 meter and in 5 meter the charge is dq so what will be rho l dq by 5 uh, 5 meter okay but suppose this is dl okay because you don't know the length also suppose if i summarize it this way okay, someone someone is trying to enter okay so if i once again uh, go back to this suppose you have total length is l okay but you have taken a small portion this portion this portion is dl and you know that only this dl is having dq charge okay so dq and dl are known to you okay now capital l and total charge q are unknown so how to find the total charge q very easy you just take dq by dl you divide and you will get line charge density okay now you have the line charge density with you now you integrate the line charge density with the total length that means line charge density into total length that is integration actually okay so that will give you the value of charge okay okay so suppose uh, yes l is known this is also known this is also known to you because obviously total uh, total length has to be known otherwise you cannot calculate but this is unknown so dq dl and l is known so dq by dl will give you rho l the so rho l integration with the total length will give you the value of q okay okay so similarly for surface charge density and volume charge density also same thing will be followed suppose you have a surface area total area you don't know but you have a small portion where the area is known to you and charge is known to you so divide them you get the charge density surface charge density and for the total area you integrate that surface charge density with the total area you get the total charge q same for the volume charge density also okay now uh, talking about the electric electric field intensity now uh, this portion okay electric field intensity i have skipped purposely because it is assumed that you all of you know what is electric field intensity isn't it because coulomb's law coulomb's law was in vector also it is represented like this q1 q2 by 4 pi epsilon r square r square unit vector why unit vector because force between one charge to another charge q1 to q2 if the force is in this direction okay and the total length is r so the unit vector is there because suppose this q2 is attracting q1 okay or q1 is repelling it is pushing q2 more okay it, it is pushing q2 in this direction so that direction is the unit vector because force is a vector at both magnitude and direction okay now uh, so this is coulomb's law of force now what is electric field intensity electric field intensity is the force experienced by a unit positive charge when placed at a particular point that means if you have one coulomb charge q1 so q1 is having some electric field it is having some electric field e1 and q2 is also having some electric field okay it is also having some electric field uh, suppose if i erase this part in this way Ha. Huh. Suppose q u q one value a charge. Suppose q one is very very greater than q two. Okay, the dominating. Suppose it is hundred coulomb and it is point zero one coulomb. This one. So its electric field is huge. So that is the electric field intensity e one. Electric field intensity means that in this electric field, because charge will create a electric field. 
So within the electric field, if you bring any any particular charge, so it will be affected by it will be experiencing some force due to Q1. Okay, so any charge which is outside, suppose you have a charge outside, suppose Q3 is outside, so it is not in the periphery of the electric field of E1, Q1. So Q3 will not experience any force, but since Q2 is within the periphery of Q1, okay, it is experiencing force. And this one is very small, okay, so this electric field intensity of this particular uh, Q2 is very small. Suppose uh, it is having a electric field intensity of this much area. So what is happening? The Q2 electric field is very small. So Q1 is not entering into the electric field of Q2. So Q2 cannot exert any force on Q1. But Q2 is within the periphery of Q, Q1. Q2 is within the periphery of Q1. So Q1 will push it. So it will repel it because both are positive, it will repel and it will travel in this direction. This is a univector. But Q3 is outside. So this is called the electric field, this area. Uh, electric field intensity means if the intensity means within this area, if one coulomb charge comes, okay, one coulomb charge, okay, one coulomb charge is coming and entering, stepping inside, then what amount of force will it experience? Which force force expressed by a unit positive charge when placed in that in that position or placed in that point in any point suppose electric field intensity in this point uh, is e1 okay so everywhere electric field intensity may may be different depending upon the distance because if q1 is placed to uh, one coulomb is placed over here then the distance will be r1 if one coulomb is placed over here then the distance will be R2, so it will be different. So E1 electric field intensity is different everywhere. This is here it will be say E11, here it will be E12, it can be different. So what is the formula? So electric field intensity formula is force experience that is Q1 into 1. Why? Same formula. The formula which we have used for Coulomb's law same formula we will use only q2 will be replaced by one coulomb okay that means in this case one coulomb of charge is experiencing force one coulomb of charge is experiencing the force that is why this formula is also written like this q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught r square that's it and unit vector r and what is r square what is this length r or distance r distance of the r is the distance from the actual charge which is creating the electric field from that point to the point where you want to find the electric potential or uh, electric field intensity that means you are assuming that here one if one coulomb of charge is there it will experience this amount of force okay now when you bring q3 in this position so what will be the force experienced by q3 because this is very helpful because if you calculate the electric field intensity before then what happens e11 is the electric field intensity at this point that is one coulomb of charge is experiencing suppose you assume that one coulomb of charge you imagine the one coulomb of charge is there and it is present over here so it will experience this amount of force if q3 is bought over here so q3 force will be equals to this into q3 why because already this is one coulomb so what we will do we will put q3 so this is nothing but electric field intensity into that charge. So summarizing the fact that E is nothing but F by Q or F is equals to E into Q. That means electric field intensity is nothing but force per unit charge because force and per unit charge means the charge which is about to enter the field that we are not considering. We are considering only one coulomb. So the charge we will consider for electric field intensity, that is the charge which is creating the electric field. Okay. Now in this case, the charge can be a point charge or if it is a line charge, then what will happen? Just replace this Q, just replace this Q with what we have seen over here. Q in place of Q, we will use line integral of rho L dl. Okay, we will use line integral of rho L dl, sorry. 
this one in place of q we will use line integral of rho l dl or surface charge density will be line integral of rho s ds or volume charge density will be line integral of rho v dv okay same thing a electric flux density now electric flux density is actually uh, it is associated with gauss law i think uh, let me see yes associated with gauss law okay so let me uh, deal with this first now electric flux density electric flux density means or electric what is electric flux now uh, let me explain this uh, better okay in this way acha are you getting the notes from the other subject teachers or or still you are not getting any notes no sir not getting from anyone not getting from anyone okay i am i don't know when we are allowed because i think there is there will be some notification after that only we can share the notes so don't worry i will share everything okay because i have already shared the notes but uh, sir in every in every in every other college they are getting the notes okay every other college means which okay so we will discuss it later on okay not over here okay so i will i will see okay. that see that later So suppose you have a charge. Okay, so as I, I was telling that uh, I have a charge. Uh, we have a charge like this, and it is having some electric field. Okay, now electric field means suppose electric field is like this. It is creating some electric field. Just like in magnet, in magnet, if I draw another one, suppose you have a bar magnet. Okay, you have a bar magnet. Okay, you have north pole and south pole with you. Okay, now what happens? It is creating some magnetic field line, isn't it? Like this, which starts from north pole and ends at south pole. Outside, okay, it is starting from north pole, ending at south pole, and inside it is from south to north, completing the whole, uh, you know, circle. Now these are called electric uh, magnetic field lines. these are called magnetic field lines now what is creating this magnetic field lines magnetic field lines are created by fluxes because the flux are actually distributing this magnetic field lines those are called flux okay so these are called magnetic field lines okay these are magnetic field lines these things uh, and the creating the things which are creating are called fluxes these are flux okay so fluxes are flowing which is creating this field lines so what are what are what flows fluxes flows similarly in electric field also this electric field okay electric field is created this is a electric field lines so electric field is created so electric field is everywhere it is different okay depending upon the distance at this point is different depending upon the length r1 at this point it is r2 it is different at this point is different this point is different so here what is happening the electric fields electric field intensity actually are different or electric fields is there so here also electric fluxes are present so electric fluxes are present electric fluxes also represent like this is called electric flux okay electric fluxes are present and suppose you take a circle like this okay you take a circle or you take a volume okay you take a volume of ball and you put the charge inside the ball so you take a ball and you put the charge now the size of the ball is quite small compared to the 
area of the electric field so electric field is trying to get outside because we know if you take a bar magnet if you put inside a box if the bar magnet is of a huge um, uh, you can say the power of the magnet is huge then if you put any iron material outside the box then also it will get attracted why because electric field is cannot be confined or cannot be insulated because electric field you cannot insulate if you put inside a box then also it will be traveling outside here also electric flux is also like that if you put it in this uh, particular volume if the electric field is uh, huge okay so the flux is also try to come out it will try to come out like this the electric flux the electric flux will be distributed within this outside you will not find any flux outside this green line you will not find any flux but within this you will find electric flux so electric flux will try to come out and it will try to spread everywhere so fluxes are coming out that is why the flux which is coming out okay so that is equal to the charge because whatever charge is present inside the sphere the amount of flux which are coming out will will be equal this is called gauss law okay this is called gauss law okay so uh, these things we will be shared to you with you so as the flux is total number of lines of force emanating from the charged body the unit of flux is known as the coulomb so since q is equals to uh, psi that is the flux so flux unit is also you can say it is coulomb but the magnetic field it is different magnetic field it is if magnetic flux is weber but electric field it is equals to coulombs okay so now uh, going to that so same thing so uh, what we can do we can also represent this same uh, you know uh, charge electric field intensity with flux also same thing okay it can be represented with flux also okay now what is oh yes now discussing what is flux density then flux density means uh, the amount of flux per unit area the amount of flux per unit area that means flux density is equals to flux per unit area that is represented as d so d unit is coulomb per meter square okay so how to represent that uh, how to represent that so see in this case it is told that electric field intensity is known to us electric field intensity in the previous ppt we have seen that it is equals to a previous uh, slide that q by 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon r r square epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space and epsilon naught is epsilon r is the relative permittivity okay okay now since q is equals to psi that is charge equals to flux so we will replace charge with flux now what we can do in this case we will apply some uh, changes you will see that these two epsilon naught epsilon r we will send it to the left hand side so what we can get epsilon naught epsilon r e then phi psi by 4 pi r square now what is 4 pi r square 4 pi r square is the area of a cube or sorry a, a sphere if you take a sphere okay the area of a sphere is 4 pi r square so this is equals to so we can say that epsilon naught epsilon r e is equals to f uh, psi by area as if the same thing that there is some sphere okay and inside it there is flux a charge and the fluxes are coming out so what is the area of this sphere through the entire area the fluxes are coming out so area will be 4 pi r square so total amount of flux coming out per area will be psi by 4 pi r square that is equals to what we have discussed that is equals to d so this is equals to d this is equals to d psi by area is equals to d flux density so psi by area 4 pi r square is equals to d flux density so from here we can conclude that epsilon naught epsilon r e is equals to d or we can also write epsilon epsilon e equals to d because epsilon is equals to epsilon naught epsilon r that is absolute permittivity into relative permittivity is the permittivity of that medium 
if it is free space then epsilon is e, epsilon is equals to epsilon permittivity uh, epsilon not absolute permittivity because epsilon r is 1 so e is equals to epsilon not for air but for other medium for other uh, means uh, medium so it will be epsilon not into epsilon r okay so that same thing has been discussed over here okay i've just summarized it so now if you want to same thing if you have the flux with you uh, if you have the flux density with you then you have to calculate flux like this that it is told that flux density is this amount so suppose x uh, coulomb per meter square so what will be the flux so just integrate flux density with that total area okay so you will get the flux density the total flux okay so now coming to gauss law no now no notification is there all are all have joined i think okay because uh, over here the automatic uh, setting is done in my computer okay so they can join automatically so uh, okay so gauss law the same thing already i have explained while i was explaining this thing okay so i'm just one second i'm uh, repeating because uh, if i might have gone fast that in that electric field created by the charge is suppose this green line within this green line you have the electric field outside you will not find any effect of the charge but in the electric field if you take a sphere and you put that charge inside that sphere okay but the, the sphere is small so it is inside the electric field but the charge effect of charge will come try to come out of the sphere and spread all through this particular electric field inside the green line isn't it so that flux will try to come out so the amount of flux coming out per unit area is the flux density so it is uniformly coming out but the total flux which is coming out is shy and total flux is coming out is equals to the amount of charge enclosed by that particular sphere that is q so q is equals to shy jitna charge andar hai utna hi flux niklega same magnitude okay the gauss law says that the total electric flux shy to any closed surface equals to the total charge enclosed by the surface so psi is equals to q q enclosed okay now total psi is equals to so suppose uh, closed su surface integral of a uh, small d psi okay or closed surface integral we can say why because uh, since we have already discussed in this in this case that we have a sphere and inside that we have a charge so the fluxes are coming out of the sphere so amount of flux coming out of the sphere will be called the flux density so flux per unit area is called the flux density same thing we have also seen over here the amount of flux coming out per unit area is the flux density okay so now flux is equals to integration of flux density with area surface integral now this surface is closed because it is a volume so we know that if the volume is you are having a volume and you want to calculate the surface area of the entire volume so we calculate the closed surface integral because it is uniformly distributed okay okay so that is why we will calculate the closed surface integral okay this one closed surface integral so closed surface integral of d that is the electric flux density is equals to total flux okay now total flux is shy now this is equation number 12 okay so this is one equation so this is one statement we know and now this is one statement that shy is equals to uh, closed surface integral of ds okay this is okay now taking the first part that now psi is equals to q so q is equals to closed surface integral of ds isn't it we can write this we can write this no problem 
Now one thing to be noticed that in the beginning we have seen that we have assumed that if there is a volume then we consider that the charges are uniformly distributed okay uniformly distributed and the volume charge density is rho v that is coulombs per meter cube now suppose we have we don't have one charge we have multiple charges we have multiple charges okay we have multiple charges huge a numerous number of charges total charge is q now previously we have considered that there is one charge one point charge but here we consider that no we have a volume charge the total charge is q okay so total charge is q so that q is creating flux phi chi but total charge is q so obviously if you have a volume then you will have that total charge will be equals to the volume integral of volume charge density because volume charge density is total charge divided by volume so total charge will be volume integral of charge density volume charge density okay if it is a volume charge not a point charge okay so that means we have taken a ball which is inside the ball charges are present okay uncount number of charges are present so so fluxes are coming out from that because the area uh, electric field is huge we will try to come out okay so that means the volume charge it is the charge equals to volume uh, means uh, volume integral of rho v volume charge density volume integral of volume charge density okay so that means we can also write that q is equals to volume integral of volume charge density so now we will write this two as, as equal so surface integral closed surface integral of ds equals to volume charge density volume integral of volume charge density okay this we can write now if you can remember there was a formula called divergence formula where we, we used to transform the volume charge into surface uh, volume integral into surface integral so same thing we will apply over here okay in that particular case the uh, the formula was that if there is a surface charge uh, sorry surface integral of a vector a is equals to the divergence of a volume integral of divergence of a okay this was the formula for divergence theorem okay now what we will do we will apply the same on this portion over here for this so we want to convert the surface integral into volume integral okay so surface integral into volume integral so what we will do we will convert this surface integral into volume integral the same thing over here we will write d tick okay so it will be d so d is electric flux density so uh, one thing to be noted the electric flux density is a vector it is a vector okay coulomb per meter square is a vector so d will be placed over here so this is equals to changing to this one this is changing to this one so previously our equation was the closed surface integral of ds is equals to volume integral of rho v dv okay so now this closed surface integral of ds is equals to divergence volume integral of divergence of this one this equals to volume integral of rho v dv so we will consider this part only so volume integral will be cancelled okay because if you differentiate both sides volume integral will be cancelled because our target is to make them bring them in a equilibrium state volume integral previously this one was in surface integral this one was in volume integral so if i use this divergence theorem so this surface integral becomes volume integral now it is equals to this now we can cancel the volume integral differentiate volume integral both sides okay and we will write this equation that is rho v equals to divergence of d this is the first of the four maxwell's equations so there are four maxwell's equation this is the first one this maxwell's equation is obtained from the gauss law okay so maxwell's equations basically this is also maxwell's equation this is the integral form of maxwell's equation this one this is the integral form of maxwell's equation okay and this is the derivative form of maxwell's equation 
Okay, that is volume charge density is equal to divergence of electric flux density. Okay. So there is a numerical. Okay, so we will discuss the numerical in the next class. Okay, this numerical is quite uh, interesting, so I will discuss it in the next class. Okay. Oh, so I think you have understood the concept of point charge, line charge, surface charge, and volume charge, and how to represent them. I think it is clear. Okay. Then I have explained it to you regarding the flux density. So what is flux density? I have just uh, given you a short, you know, uh, in a gist, so that it, it will be better for you to understand in a quick manner. But what is charge density? So charge is nothing. Uh, charge density you all know, rho L, rho V, rho S. But what is flux density? Flux, all of you have understood that the electric field line which is created by the effect of charge, so field line is created by charge, or well, but not by charge, it is by the effect of charge because charge is present, so field line is created. So who is creating this field line? It is electric flux because they are coming out from the charge, coming out from the uh, charge, bo body of the charge, okay, which you cannot see, this kind of energy, it is coming out, okay, so it is a electric flux. And if you take a volume charge, okay, so electric flux will come out and the volume charge will be uh, Q, it is equals to volume integral of volume charge density, rho V dB. And as for Gauss law, the amount of charges which are coming out from the volume charge is equals to the charge itself enclosed by the surface or volume, okay, this is Gauss law, okay. So uh, if you have any question you can ask, have you understood? This part. Any questions? Okay, so if no, then we can uh, end our class today up to here. Okay, so we will continue with the next topic. And uh, before continuing, I will be explaining this numerical to you because it is quite interesting. Okay, this numerical. So you will be able to understand it better. If you are understand this numerical, then this whole Gauss law will be more clear to you. Then we will proceed with the next topic, okay, of electro electrostatic field. Okay, so then thank you then for today. Okay, we will continue tomorrow.